Day one, the day sold. We show you everything at Mustang Medic. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration and the restoration. <laughs> It only has surface rust? Really? Here it is, Larry's 1971 Mach 1 project car at Mustang Medic. Mustang Medic. Update on Larry's must Larry's Mustang. Larry's Mach 1, excuse me. Gotta gotta make that point. Um, good news. We saw some more crap inside the cow. We're like, oh no. Oh no. So we started digging in and we found out it was just what, paint? Paint or it was like something. some kind of thick paint. So good news, Larry. Woo! It was kind of like, no, not the cow. So it's not the cow. Good news. Um, I'm in the process of investigating um, Rusty's or some uh, Rust Encapsulator to spray in. Andre is going to open her up, and he's basically going to cut away this spot. Let me show it to you. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to come in here and try to cut as much of this area, give him as much room as he can so he can spray back as far as possible. Right, and, and back here... Back in that area is where we found this piece, this chunk. We looked at it, we thought, oh no. So we dug around in there and poked around and it's all solid in there. So that's very good news, Larry. So this area right here, this is kind of a neat view of the, of the inside of a cowl of a 71 to 73. I mean, how many times do you guys get this view? You really don't unless you cut away this spot. So there is the inside view of uh, Larry's cowl. And the good news is, is it's intact, thank God. So the, the debris was all stuck to this wall. Well, it was all stuck to this wall, and it was not anywhere else in the car, which, you know, we need good news with Larry's car. He wants to hear good news, and there is some good news, Larry. Andre's going to cut this all square clean, get it cleaned up, clean up this metal, just get a little nice little straight line. Well, this, we'll just trim it up a little. It's not really necessary, but we're going to do a little bit of cleanup on aisle five because that's what we do. We can't help it. We're professionists. And then we're going to get this wide open. We're going to dig in with the camera, just get a neat, neat little camera view, see what we can do. I'll finally get those batteries. And then um, we'll be prepared to seal it and close this up and put this uh, to this chapter to a close. Guys, I just wanted to show you Andre's truck. All right, guys, I trimmed this whole area out a little bit more so I can actually get my hand up into it. And I'm feeling around and I'm pressing down real hard on the cow and I'm not feeling any weak spots. And Thank God. It all feels really, really solid. There's a lot of like... That's the, kind of, that's the kind of news we want to have for Zoma on her 66, but we just haven't decided to cut this out yet because they're all, everybody's waiting on me to get four AA batteries. Okay. But this is a... Hang on a second. Oh, you're, I mean, where are you supposed to get them? No, I, I forgot that. So that doesn't count as your bad. And that's just Ooh. All right. the surface the rust that I was able to get Yeah, so Larry, this is good news on the cowl for your car. So we're going to get the, in here and sand it down the best we can, and we are going to uh, rust encapsulate that. We're going to blow that out and vacuum it out and clean it up and do some rust encapsulator and then seal her back on. And make a little patch panel. Patch, patch panel. Interior patch panel and then an exterior patch panel. And we're going to use Ford steel. We're going to take it from my old fender from the uh, 70, uh, 71. And there's, and there's the, the die that he needs to make it happen. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. Say it only has surface rust?